that bitch off. So Mother is written and directed by Darren Aronofsky, an American auteur, if you will. And he's famous for films such as the most fucked up after school special about drugs that I've ever seen, and that is Requiem for a Dream. It even made me look at something such as coffee and be like, <laughs> I ain't fucking with that shit. He's also known for The Fountain and The Wrestler, as well as his last film, 2014's Noah, which... Pretty forgettable in my opinion. But he's also known for bringing one of my favorite films of 2010, Black Swan, which I actually think is arguably his best work. And a recurring theme that Darren Aronofsky tends to include in a lot of his work, if not all of his work, is the theme of obsession. And maybe just a hint of egotism. And you could definitely say that that is the case here and mother. Now before I really jump into it, you know there's trailers, there's advertisements trying to pitch this movie as the most shocking horror movie ever. My wife loves having company. Mother. Yeah, that's complete bullshit. Paramount you fucked up. Albeit that there is some disturbing and some very much bizarre imagery, this isn't a horror movie in the slightest. And also like how it says at the end of the trailer where it's like, you will never forget where you saw this movie. And it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking sites for bootlegging out there. It's a, it's a bit of a problem. However, whether it be for better or worse, you won't ever forget that you saw this movie. Ultimately, if you really want to know what kind of film Mother is, is that it's a dark, dramatic art house film. In other words, it's for a very niche audience. Hence the low scores from the everyday masses coming into this film thinking that they're gonna see something in the realm of a horror film or at least a psychological thriller. So with that said, I can't really fault these people for walking in expecting something different than what they actually got because Paramount, again, they fucked up by trying to market this to a mainstream audience. However, if you're somebody who fancies yourself being a fan of the avant-garde or you're somebody who is a fan of just piecing things together or you're just as cultured as me cut that bitch off then yeah you actually very well may enjoy this movie and actually have some fun with it now all you really need to know about mother is that it's centered on a young wife played by jennifer lawrence of a famous poet harvey bardem who both reside in a mansion at a seemingly desolate countryside one day they get a visitor a traveling admirer of Bardem's character played by Ed Harris. The married couple show him hospitality. They allow him to stay the night. But the next day, Ed Harris's wife shows up played by Michelle Pfeiffer. And from that point on, more mysterious people start showing up and it eventually becomes the most insane, fucked up house party ever known to man. And at first, when the movie is becoming a full house, it's actually kind of funny because all these people are going around messing with all of her stuff. They're trashing the place a little bit and no matter how frustrated she gets no matter how much she polices everybody they just don't give a single fuck i don't know if anybody else has made this comparison but it really reminded me of the beginning of the hobbit with bilbo and the dwarves you know all of them coming in his house and messing with his shit it it was very reminiscent of that but then of course as i referenced earlier things do begin to escalate for a very nasty turn. Like in a lot of Aronofsky's work, there is some true unsettling imagery here. So I suppose if you are looking for horror, it might come from that, but that's really stretching it. But it's nothing on par, remotely on par, with the infected arm scene in Requiem for a Dream. I can take a lot, that defeated me. Now, without spoiling anything, this is Darren Aronofsky's audacious retelling of a popular story through his perspective of humanity's detrimental effect on mother nature, as well as a theme of egotism coinciding with religion. And what's really admirable about this movie, filled with allegory, if you couldn't already tell, is that it fully commits to these ideas, it fully commits to these themes, to its narrative, so much so, and not unlike a lot of movies, that it gets it right down to the clothing used as foreshadowing and, of course, as characterization. The symbols, the odd bits of imagery, the character traits, the events that happen in the film, they're not just there or they're not just happening just to be there or just to happen. 
everything has a purpose. I went into this film not really knowing a hell of a lot about it outside of maybe it having an environmental message, which indeed that is there, but uh, there's quite a bit more to it. I'm not going to sit here and say whether or not I agree with what Aronofsky is saying in this film, but I will say that the movie does offer a fun little puzzle to solve with something thought-provoking, at least at the very end of it when you have all the pieces placed together. So with all that said, I'm going to give Mother a light four and a half out of five. If you are somebody who has seen Mother, then do let me know your thoughts on it. I'm being serious. I actually do want to know your thoughts on this film. It's, it's pretty wild. But anyway, as always, I'm Colin Kirkland, and thank you so much for watching.